What's going on guys? This is Ryan with Dark Hay Outpost and welcome to Gaming with Geeks. And after all this time, we finally have the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War official reveal trailer. Now we had the teaser several days ago, almost a week ago, that got a lot of attention. A lot of people were excited about it, then more controversy when Activision decided to censor it because it was banned in China. Well now we are officially getting details on Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Some things confirming what had been rumored, such as the fact that this will be a direct sequel to Call of Duty Black Ops from nearly 15 years ago, as well as confirmation that several of the characters that we know from Black Ops will be returning. Mason will be back, Woods from will be back, Hudson will be back. We also have some information about how these new levels are going to be designed. It's going to be a little bit of a change from traditional Call of Duty. It's going to be maybe more Hitman styled from what some people are saying. And we also know the price points for current gen and next gen. But before we get into that, let's just go ahead, shall we, and watch the trailer so you guys can see for yourselves. This war was a lie. Years of blood. Just don't like the fuse of a secret Decades in the making. Nineteen eighty, baby. My fellow Americans, a nuclear conflict would well be mankind's last. We want to make this a more peaceful world. Five days ago, we acquired intel. Soviet agent Perseus is in play. If he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that could shift the balance of the Cold War. There we go, some of the characters we know right there. Let's go find this shithead. Uh, uh, Is the threat real? Reagan. Yes, sir, we believe it is. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Do I feel? Do I feel? Do I feel? Do I feel? This one's part of the plan! I know you won't fail us. Pre-order digital. Oh, and there you go. Look, early access for the beta first on PlayStation 4. PlayStation picks up all these early access deals. Copy and get early access to the open beta and instant access to the Woods Operator Pack in Modern Warfare, including Warzone. There you go. Worldwide multiplayer reveal on September 9th. So not all of this is done. We're still going to get more revealed a few weeks from now. But a um, lot of people excited about this. Now, I will say looking at it, there's nothing about the what they showed us that exactly screams next gen. That looks that much different from what we saw in Modern Warfare last year when it released. However, a lot of people are excited for this storyline, for a continuation of the Black Ops storyline specifically because it's a direct sequel to Black Ops. We get to be with some of these characters. And your character specifically, I think it's very interesting, for the first time in Call of Duty history, that I know of anyway, you're going to be able to choose your character. As well as using an interesting setting, the development team at Raven Software is offering a much greater degree of freedom than we've ever seen in Call of Duty campaign. That starts with creator char or with character creator, which allows you to design your own single player operator for the first time. Eight stages in all, including skin tone and gender. You can specify all those options, or you can leave them as classified. So it means you don't have to choose a gender, in which case they will give you gender neutral pronouns. 
uh, kind of roll my eyes at that a little bit. But at the same time, the idea that I'm going to get to create my character for this campaign, I'm going get to get to play along with Mason, Woods, and Hudson, I think is pretty cool. Uh, so I'm looking forward to being able to do that. I don't give a shit about gender-neutral pronouns. It also goes on to say the campaign also involves a greater level of player autonomy. Many missions allow you to take different paths to an objective. You're also given dialogue options at the same points in the story. You can also accomplish extra objectives, discover evidence to unlock two optional missions, which provide you with more narrative context to the levels. The choices will the choices you make will affect how the story progresses and ultimately what ending you receive but it will still be in a in a framework of something not completely do whatever you want but for call of duty this is the first time we've really seen anything quite like this and i think it's good i think it's a good thing to open it up give people more choices in this game and talking about the focus on player choice, it does say there's several Hitman style levels in the game where you're asked to accomplish an objective by several potential means. So for instance, you're able to poison a general, steal data, blackmail an officer, or interrogate a prisoner in order to accomplish your unspecified but presumably delightfully devilish aims. So more going into that player choice of how you play the game. Now they did say, let's go back here. You get the standard edition, the cross-gen bundle for $70, and the ultimate edition for $80. It will be out November 13th. A lot of people already talking about the idea that the cross-gen bundle, they're charging an extra $10 for you to upgrade to the next gen. Now, this definitely does imply that if you buy the standard edition, you will not be able to play it cross-gen. That is one of the things that we're still very much in the dark about when it comes to these next-gen consoles, when it comes to Xbox and PlayStation. A lot of them seem to be leaving this decision up to the developers themselves instead of being very clear about what exactly will be playable on PlayStation 5. But for Call of Duty extra ten dollars to get the cross-gen bundle to be able to play on your on your current playstation 4 and then your playstation 5 when that eventually does come out so that will be talked about i'm sure in the near future but as far as the game goes there's a lot of black ops fans who are really excited about this a lot of people who don't care it's just another call of duty game and i get that too after what we got with modern warfare all the activision political bs aside I think that Modern Warfare and Warzone was a really incredible step for the Call of Duty franchise. Really brought it back to basics and was very enjoyable. And it looks like Black Ops Cold War is about to be the same thing. Let me know what you think about this reveal about the trailer, about the cross-gen pricing, and about all the choice they're trying to put into Call of Duty. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.